is Iceland and it's a lovely sunny morning after the school run again. I'm here to talk to you about planning ahead, planning for your future, whether it be distant future or near future. Sometimes we think about having a plan A and a plan B and then sometimes we think oh I'll just do this I just feel it's right and well, sometimes you feel something instinctively and you think yeah I want to do this I'm going to start this business going to help this person. Yeah. There's something that God puts inside of us that makes you think, I've got this gut feeling about something, whether it's right or whether it's wrong. And it's called instinct. Sometimes you instinctively know when something is right and you instinctively know when something is wrong and you instinct instinctively know when to hit that button you know when to make that deal when to make that that move when to propose which job to go to for um, yeah, that gut feeling that you feel down here, instinct, it's a lifesaver, yeah, gets you out of trouble, prevents you from getting into trouble too. I was talking to my son about instinct, about how important it is to listen to your instinct and not to ignore it because it can save your life it can stop you from going into things that you would be drawn into you know you might instinctively know that something is wrong and your friends your peers, even your family your nearest and dearest might say come on you know it's right. Come on, come with us, do this. Let's do that. And you're thinking, no, there's something not right in this. I just don't know why, but I just know I can't do it. I just know it's not right. That's your instinct telling you something's wrong with what you're going to do or what they want you to do. It's your instinct telling you what to do. That special thing that God has put in you. Spirit. It's special. It is really special. You may never know why you feel like that. But don't ignore it. And if your instinct is telling you to strike that deal, hit the button, make a proposal, whether it be marriage or business or whatever, do it. From experience, personal experience, whenever I move against my instinctive feelings, I always get into trouble. Something will always go wrong. If I listen to it, I may never know what was wrong. But I never ever have any regrets. You might have opposition, but you never have regrets. When you listen to that gut feeling that tells you what to do. But listening to wisdom in the book of Proverbs, and it, it tells us that wisdom cries out, cries out to the city, cries out to all that will hear her. 
so that she or he that hears can be saved from the pitfalls of the enemy, the foolish woman, the one that draws you away from wisdom, that draws you to your, your death, to your fall, to your downfall. But she, who is called wisdom, cries out. And whosoever will listen to wisdom will survive. Whosoever will listen to wisdom will be saved from the pitfall of the enemy. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter how many degrees or if you've got masters. There's nothing that is greater than the wisdom of God because that will save you from the pitfalls of life. This is Iceland. Talking to you from a location that is nice and sunny. <laughs> I'm saying goodbye for now and I look forward to talking to you another day. Bye!